Hi everybody, I'm Priscilla from Style by PT and today I'm going to be showing you how to style a kitchen shelfie. So what really is a kitchen shelfie? It's basically this empty space that you have designed to do a custom open shelf for above your kitchen. I would say really the few options of why you would do a kitchen shelfie is because you want somewhere that has a unique, interesting point of view. It also gives you a sense that you're in a kitchen right now. It adds sort of like a nice gallery wall to your entire kitchen and it makes it feel less bulky. So let me show you the step-by-step -step way of how to do a kitchen shelfie. So the very first thing you need to do obviously is to collect um, a range of items that you absolutely love that you would like to see all day long. I would really start off with anchoring some of the key things. So the very first one will be little objects and like this and they are these really fun canister jars and little boxes. So we've got all the coffee, tea, tea and biscuit ones. So they come in different sizes and when you do layering, they're really useful. The other key thing that I really like to do when I kind of put in shelves are actually art pieces. And these art pieces, um, you can find those, they're very related to kitchen. And this particular one that I'm looking at right now has got all these really fun uh, graphic um, prints of like fruits and they really tell the story of like being in a kitchen so finding teams of art that has things related to kitchen would be a very, very good step for you to kind of like you know anchor your space and obviously uh, we also look at the frames as well framing of the art is also another big thing and so with the art pieces they're also in this little kitchen space I chose colors that are kind of like oakish pine and white just so that the space doesn't have suddenly like a black frame and it look really out of space so getting your framing right for your art is also another key very important thing and having them in different shapes and heights also adds in the layers for you the other one that is also really quite fun will be adding in some really cute and interesting vessels and vases so these are what I mean by the interesting um, vase and um, vessels so you've got these little teapots here that are so cute and pretty and by adding some dried flowers they don't actually die and they can last forever and instantly give it a little bit more like a really wonderful feel to the space and the other bit more fun things to kind of add on would be things that you use in the kitchen like bowls. Bowls are perfect for stacking, especially if you've got two or three. You've got this sort of pepper situation going on here and it's really quite cute because then it kind of echoes the reason why you have them. So it's easy to take and it's really quite fun. These little fun objects here like these are actually things that I kind of like to kind of add into the kitchen shelfie just for a little bit more of a touch or factor and A is really like this little cute light wand is actually just to show you that you know you can actually add in your own personal touches by using my client's um, you know alphabet starts with A and so she wanted to add in her own element her own story into her own space and if you actually find very pretty like tea bags and um, you know packaging you can actually use them as part of your shelfie as well and they're very easy to take and you immediately can see sort of like an easy cataloging of exactly what you have in the space so let me show you kind of how I play around with the shelfie decoration so I tend to put like the art pieces a little bit on the higher side I want it to have sort of like a feel of like the high difference so sometimes what I do is sometimes if there's an object that I kind of want to hide, I can actually use these art pieces to kind of hide them and it actually looks really quite beautiful. It doesn't look like you have something behind it. And then I would add in these little bigger jars which I hardly use on the very top. So these act as an anchor zone. So there you go. So straight away immediately you can already start feeling that the kitchen is filling up put in these two little cute things. So as you can tell, I'm doing spacing by spacing. I'm breaking them up. I'm not cluttering everything together. So by doing that, you don't feel like the entire space is too claustrophobic. It's too tight. And then straight away with the same colors that is going through in the same artwork, I'm adding this little slight detail to kind of tie everything together. Just so that the whole space feels as though there is different levels of movement that you can see. So once I'm done with my first shelf and I quite like it, I'll see what I can do with the second shelf. So I usually tend to put like the bigger objects here. So as you can tell, this sharp line of a triangle is very similar to this one. And so I kind of want to put them together so you can kind of group them as it is. And then I might use this one here to kind of play around. So because I this is already quite heavy, so I'm moving this slightly forward here just so that this area here doesn't feel too too similar and too heavy with the same color tone and by adding that little glitz of that cute little animal thing here it really helps to tie in the whole space now we've got this cute little tea bag here which is very easy for you to assess and yet at the same time it looks so clean and pretty and we're just going to add in some little fun zones here 
So I'm going to shift that around, add in this space, and then bring that colour in just like that. So with shelfie decorating, I think the beauty of it is that there is no fuss rule, there's no hard rules. You just kind of need to keep on moving your spaces, step down, get the sense of the space, and then have a whole feel. So adding this little other flower trim right at the back of this helps to tie this sudden dark colour of the wood together with everything else. So immediately, voila, you got a kitchen shelfie that you love and you enjoy for as long as you want. So kitchen shelfie isn't as difficult as what everyone thinks as long as you have like a really good set of nice things that you've collected they actually the colors all gel together and at the same time you know you just keep on experimenting you can definitely nail the whole kitchen shelfie um, like style all by yourself and it's very it's a very fun easy DIY thing that you can do on your own anytime you are free or even if you want to just get inspired by your own space and I hope you enjoyed this video remember that your home is your story see you in the next video bye